On every accurate image you may have seen of the brain, you may have noticed that it looks like the cerebrum is split in two, right along here. That is because the cerebrum is split in two right along here. It's split into two things we call hemispheres, because the cerebrum looks kind of like a sphere, and hemisphere means half of a sphere. So we call these two parts of the cerebrum the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere. Both hemispheres of the cerebrum are connected together through a large band of about 200 to 250 million nerve fibers called the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum helps both the hemispheres communicate with each other. Both hemispheres are in charge of different functions. For instance, writing for right-handed people takes place in the left hemisphere, whereas analysis by touch takes place in the right hemisphere. Your general interpretive center is in the left hemisphere. This center helps you understand language and mathematical calculation. And your spatial visualization and analysis area is in your right hemisphere. This helps you imagine things and analyze things. For um, speech, it's in the left hemisphere. For senses, vision for instance, some of them are crisscrossed. The information from your left eye goes to your right hemisphere, and the information from your right eye goes to your left hemisphere. This is the same case for your ears. The information from your left ear goes to your right hemisphere, and the information from your right ear goes to your left hemisphere. As you see, there are different functions in both hemispheres. But you may be wondering, if my language inter understanding takes place in my left hemisphere, then how come I can understand language that I hear with both my ears? Well, this is where the corpus callosum comes in. The information that your auditory cortex processes in your left ear is then sent to the general interpretive center to be processed further. This is the same case with the information from your visual cortexes. You can read with both eyes thanks to the corpus callosum. Without a corpus callosum, you'd have trouble reading with your left eye. You'd have trouble understanding language that goes into your left ear, and many other things would be harder. This band of 200 to 250 million nerve fibers is very important for you to perform everyday tasks.